And all that by itself would be bad enough, and now there will be bigger problems coming Wednesday in the form of a human tidal wave at the southern border. Some reports say as many as 700,000 illegals could overrun the U.S.-Mexican border in just a few days. 700,000. This comes after everyone that is paying attention says we're at an already dire situation that's threatening our national security, and some say our very existence as a nation. It's creating a political firestorm because it has already created a humanitarian disaster in Texas. A disaster. No other way to put it. What also has been happening in places like El Paso, Texas, since Joe Biden began to occupy the West Wing? Well, from the street level, I want you to hear this and experience this. Go. Reporting in El Paso, this is the current scene right now. As you guys can see, this is a true humanitarian crisis. This is the streets of El Paso. There are roughly 2,500 migrants released onto the streets, sleeping here. Not all migrants have NTAs. That's the notice of the here, but these are the uh, li living conditions. Este Venezuela, señor. ¿Cuántos días tiene aquí en la calle? So he said he's been waiting for two weeks here on the streets. The majority of the migrants that we've been speaking with are from Venezuela. We've also spoke to migrants from Nicaragua, Colombia, Turkey, Africa, and many more. But these are the current scenes here uh, in El Paso as authorities get ready for the ending of Title 42 on May 11th. What migrants are telling me is the reason they're crossing now is because Title 42 is officially ending and they've already spoke to other family members that have been released in the, in the United States. Ten cities, homelessness. Thousands of people living on the streets of El Paso, and that's just one example of what's going wrong with our southern border. It is inexcusable. Sheriff Mark Lamb is in Arizona. He's running for the United States Senate. He's also telling the truth about getting more illegals coming into the country, about what's, what's about to happen. Listen. Hey, folks, Sheriff Lamb here. So truth is becoming harder and harder to find, especially from our politicians and the media. So I wanted to give you some truth today, a little truth bomb. Um, Joe Biden recently announced he's sending 1,500 troops to the border. While I applaud him sending that, I want the American people to understand that this is not to protect our border, to keep people from coming into this country illegally. Those 1,500 soldiers will there be there to process people into this country a lot faster so that you, the American people, don't realize what a disaster this border crisis is. And that is the truth. If you want more truth, make sure you come follow me at SheriffLamforSenate.com and make sure you support us today. God bless and stay safe. He is in a, in a terrific position to run for that Senate seat in Arizona. 